and that same well hi everyone and welcome to rob evans 365 today is day number 391 and i don't know whether you can hear it while i'm doing this recording but we are having a horrific storm here uh, right now really really strong winds in fact probably some of the strongest winds that i can recollect uh, it's uh, really rattling uh, the building whistling through uh, around the corners of the building pushing the glass in uh, hopefully there's no disasters out there it's late at night uh, so it's always a bit scary when it's like that and uh, trees coming down and stuff so hopefully everybody stays safe now today I'm going to talk about what happened yesterday now you know about my uh, road to 600 so road to 600 to reach 600 kilos of weights across a bench press deadlift and leg press by 31 December this year and I set this goal a number of months ago after I was recovering so well from my surgery uh, on my left uh, rotator cuff and I thought I needed to set something that was going to create a lot of focus for me uh, be a challenge and um, just get me in the shape of my life so I set the road to, to 600 just came to me one day when I was thinking about how what I can do to drive myself forward and unfortunately through the process I was progressing really well for a couple of months and then uh, my rotator cuff really started to hurt if you go back and listen through uh, the last few weeks or so you'll hear me talking about my shoulder and without rehashing all of that it meant that about six weeks ago probably now I had to pretty much put a halt on my road to 600 training for my upper body well in effect my chest and my deadlifts because it was putting too much strain on my shoulder I went to the surgeon he said that uh, I had a, a it sounded like I had a quite an inflamed AC joint and he wanted to give me a cortisone injection gave me the cortisone injection checked in with me two weeks later and the cortisone normally works you know fairly quickly or it doesn't work at all and in fact the pain got worse uh, so I had to uh, just back things off even further uh, I'm booked in for an MRI on the 18th of July so it's uh, tomorrow week that I get to to go and do that and then I've got an appointment with him straight away to have a look at that and see what's going on in the meantime what I've been doing is uh, rehabbing my shoulder I've been I, I basically didn't do any upper body work for a few weeks just to let it rest and recover and then I found I was going into a worse pain position because just like what happened with my right shoulder, the, I'm not using it as much as I otherwise should and uh, the muscles around the sore shoulder, the sore uh, rotator cuff are getting weaker so therefore the pain's increasing. Um, so I then started to um, you know, do some light chest work on the left side, do some light back work, upper back work and that seemed to turn things around for me and uh, you know I'm feeling better but I'm still in pain if I use it so I can't do any bench press at all I'm not doing any deadlifts either because I don't want to exacerbate the problem so I've been focusing on abdominals I've been focused on rehab and I've been focusing on legs which brings me to yesterday so the last few weeks I've been uh, pushing the leg press a little bit further a little bit further and uh, I've been making some good progress because I've been stuck on 240 kilos, trying 240 kilos, getting beyond that, for a number of months. And I've just been getting nowhere. Now, last week I did 245 kilos. Uh, or was that the week before? I might have done 245 and then I went 250. Yeah, that was last week. And did 250. And I thought, okay, I was feeling really good last week. So yesterday came round and uh, it takes me about 12 sets or so to get up to, uh, you know, the, the heavier weights. Um, so I was climbing, I did 120 and I was feeling hard and I thought, man, how am I going to do this? Kept climbing, kept climbing. Got to 250, uh, well, sorry, I got to 240, 
and did 240 by four reps. And I thought, actually, that feels really good. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to jump to 260. So I jumped to 260, pumped out for three or four reps at 260. And I thought, you know what, that felt really good. So I went to 280. I was just jumping up by 20 kilo lots because that's the size of one of the plates. Did 280 by three reps and thought, wow, do you know what? I'm going to try my 31 December target of 300 kilos on the leg press. So I put on 300 kilos. Um, I filmed it. Uh, I haven't uploaded it um, onto um, YouTube or anything yet, uh, but I recorded a little video of me uh, talking about it. And I did two sets, I took two reps of 300 kilos. And I'm like, oh wow, I have gone from, I've gone up 50 kilos in a little over a week. Uh, I've been stuck around that 240 mark for so long. And now I've just hit the 300. And I've ticked off my goal for 31 December this year in July. And it's like, wow, that's, that's amazing that I've been able to do that because you know, I set a very challenging goal for me. I've never done, the heaviest I've ever done is 250. That's the heaviest I've ever done. I did that last, last week and I probably equaled that a number of, oh, probably two years ago, uh, I did that. So I've just hit 300 kilos and feel fantastic. Now, having said that, my legs are caning like anything at the moment. Uh, my butt is so sore. My hamstrings are really sore and I'm about to go and have a soak in the tub after this uh, because my sore muscles uh, need it. So what's the point of this? Wow, I reached my goal. I set a lofty target. Now, if I hadn't have set a challenging target to me, I wouldn't have accidentally got to 300. I would have kept going up to maybe 240 and said, okay, that's a good set. I've maxed out today. Won't try and push any further. But no, instead, I said I went to 300. Now, what do you think my new limit is? Well, it's nowhere near 240. It's like 300. If I did 300, gee, maybe we can aim for 400 now. Um, so I just keep pushing and keep pushing. And maybe this will make the road to 600 a little bit easier because I can, I can push out some more weight on the leg press and that means I don't have to do as much on the, the bench and I can save my shoulders. So maybe I'm still in there with a shot. Uh, so um, I, was, I was so proud of myself for what I'd done. And then I started to look back and reflect and think, okay, so what, what have I done differently between the 240 and the 300? And why all of a sudden has it gotten so much better? And I thought about a couple of things. Firstly, I thought about mindset. So uh, for a while, I felt that, you know, 240, I keep trying, I keep failing it. And sometimes I'd be on there doing a set of 240 and it's coming down like, no, I can't do it, can't do it. And well, guess what? I don't do it. Um, and that's a 245 where that would happen so I could get the 240 up. Uh, so mindset is massive. So it's that having that belief, belief that you can do it. And uh, I certainly had that. Now, the other element, I don't think there's any coincidence here, but it has to be the performance edge that I've been looking for out of these Isogenics products. Because you can't tell me that I've been for months and months and having a PB of 250 for like years and then going from 250 to 260 to 280 to 300 in the matter of, um, well, really 45, 50 days, then there's got to be something else other than my mindset helping with that. Now, I'm somebody that is always focused on their nutrition. So you can't say, oh, well, your nutrition mustn't have been good on those other, those other occasions. No, my nutrition is always really great. Uh, it's just that now I think this has certainly given me the edge. So, um, you know, I feel great on the, uh, you know, having the protein powder, having the, the other supplements as well, the snacks and everything. I mean, I've, I'm just so focused on my food and my training and um, how I'm looking and 
everything. I mean, I haven't looked this good in ages. My skin feels great. Um, my abdominal section looks really uh, impressive for me for what I uh, have been for the last um, uh, you know, few years. I've said, you know what, I, enough's enough. I need, to, uh, I need to get a better outcome for me. I want a better outcome for my midsection and my body. I want to look sexier. I want to look good without any clothes on. You know, I, I always say to people, my goal for me is to, I want to look good naked. And because if I know if I'm looking good naked, I know that I've done all the work that's required to get to that point where I can stand in front of the mirror and say, actually, you know what, I like what I see. Uh, so that's what I've been, uh, been focusing on. And uh, if you've listened to me before talk about how I was sceptical uh, to start with, was I thought, you know what, my, I, I eat so well now, how can I possibly get an edge? But when an Olympic gold medalist tells you that there's other Olympic athletes that are feeling fantastic and also getting an edge, how can you argue with that? I'm certainly not at that level. Uh, so... Um, uh, that's why I gave them a try and now I'm, I've got more clients that are, are trying them and uh, you know uh, the, these strength results for me just speak volumes for how, how it's all fitting together and how measurable what it is that I'm doing is obviously having on my body because I, I couldn't just pull out an extra you know, 50 kilos over a month um, just by saying, do you know what? Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I mean, I'm, I'm a very focused individual and there's got to be more to it than that. Uh, so I'm putting it down to a combination of mindset, but mainly it's been the nutrition uh, that has helped me, uh, helped me achieve it. So how exciting to get to that point where you set a lofty goal. And I have to say, when I set the goal, I was uh, thinking to myself that, I don't know whether I can do 300 because I've only done 250 before, an extra 50 kilos. And I'd done 250 years ago when my knee was probably better and certainly when my shoulders were better. Uh, so uh, you know, I knew that that was going to be an incredible stretch, an incredible stretch. Um, but when you achieve something like that, it's like, wow, that's incredible. That's such an amazing feeling to know that, uh, you know, I've been able to do it. And so, um, what do you do now? Well, like I said before, it's about keeping on moving forward, isn't it? Setting another target for yourself now. Now, it only happened yesterday, so I haven't, uh, I haven't, sat down with myself and said, hmm, so what am I going to aim for now? My main goal is to obviously fix up my shoulders so that I can continue on the journey of the road to, to 600 and, and get those other things done as well. My bench press of 100 kilos, which I've never done. Well, actually, that's not true. I did it many, many years ago uh, when I was uh, at a heavier weight and uh, a, a deadlift of 200 kilos that I've never done either. Um, so be interested to see uh, what impacts that the, uh, the supplements are having in those regards. So I'm, I'm super keen to be able to fix my shoulder so I can continue. Um, but maybe now what I do is I set it at 350. Maybe I aim for 350 by the end of the year. If I've got 300 now, obviously there's a law of diminishing returns. You can't just keep increasing and increasing and increasing. There's got to be a point where the human bodies and joints say that they can't cope with this much load and um, yeah I was certainly feeling it through my back yesterday with the load I feel fine today my legs are obviously really sore but um, yeah keep moving forward hey um, so I was so excited about it and uh, you know the the road to 300 I was going to be calling the challenge if I couldn't do the other bits and it's achieved five months early so if I can do it, think about you know what I said yesterday. What would you do with um, you know the couple that I was talking about and the issues that they were having? Well, um, you know I, in the face of my surgery, and you could say uh, you've had surgery, uh, you're in you're in pain, 
why don't you just rest everything, back off your training, don't worry about it. You know, maybe do something next year, don't worry about it this year. That's one approach, isn't it? Or instead, I said, I'm going to set some challenges for myself to prove to people that one, just because you've had surgery and you've got an obstacle that may seem quite big doesn't mean that you can't keep moving forward and achieving some fantastic results in your life. The second one was my age. Obviously, as each moment passes by, I'm the oldest I've ever been. And I wanted to show people that even though I'm over the age of 50 this year, that you can still be young and vibrant in your body and you can be super strong. In other words, in order to achieve the total of uh, Road to 600, I'm effectively achieving personal best in all those lifts. Uh, so I wanted to prove that. I also wanted to show people what it means to have uh, accountability to uh, the, the rest of the world when you declare for, so far out that this is what you're going to achieve at the end of the year and that you can consistently keep posting, consistently keep reporting to people around your progress and what it is that you're doing. And in order to do that, it means that you've got to fuel yourself the right way. I have to keep rehabbing my shoulder and I have to do it over such a long period of time where most people would just give up and say, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. To prove to them, inspire people to say that it doesn't matter what obstacles that you have in your way, there's always someone that's going to be doing it harder and tougher than you. There's always somebody that's probably working harder than you. But look what it is that you can achieve, even though you feel like there's insurmountable stuff around you that are preventing you from doing things. It doesn't have to be your story, but so many of us live there, don't they? So I am living proof that you can achieve whatever it is that you want. When I set these goals, I didn't think that um, you know, I was certainly going to achieve it by July, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm very impressed with that. So have a think about where it is that you're holding back in your own life. Where are, the, where are the challenges that you could be or what are the challenges that you could be setting for yourself but you're not because you feel like I'm just going to settle for mediocrity. Think about all the things that I just told you and see how can you make your mark? How can you make your difference to other people's lives? How can you make that difference to you? What goal can you set that is so challenging for you and so exciting that it has the soles of your feet burning to keep moving towards achieving it? What's that for you? Because when you find it, oh my goodness, your whole world changes. It changes so dramatically, all for the better. And that, to me, is what life is all about. Go and make your own road to 600. Go do your thing. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow.